Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel MS Maths. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Pascal's law for static fluid. In the previous lecture, we have already discussed that uh, pressure on a fluid at rest position. In that case, we have uh, discussed or we have uh, like tried to understand then what is the uh, like pressure in the all the direction or all, all the phases of a rectangular element of a fluid. Now we have a parallel now we have a paraloid uh, basically the elementary rect uh, elementary paraloid uh, safe of the fluid element and uh, we'll use the pascal's law is basically the intensity of the pressure at point in a fluid at rest is same in all the directions so we have consider that uh, arbitrary fluid element of wedge shape it is basically the wedge shape in a fluid mass at rest okay so yeah, in this case, we'll uh, use the wedge shape, not paraloid. So sorry for that. We'll use the wedge shape. For paraloid, we'll find, uh, the, using the paraloid, we'll find the Euler's equation. Okay. So by the wedge shape in a fluid mass at rest, let the dimension of the fluid element is del x, del y, and basically the del z is equals to 1. Okay. So this is the del z, and this is the del y, and this is del x. Okay. So, we have considered that uh, the pressure along the x direction is a small px and along the y direction is a small yx, sorry small y and the like uh, inclined surface that is basically CEBD that we have considered the pressure on this particular surface is Pn. Okay. So, we will consider the uh, f, f, like force in, uh, in, the, in the direction of x, y and z. So, we will find the value uh, like uh, this by using the Pascal's law. By Pascal's law, the net force will be same in all the direction. So, basically the force along the x direction is nothing but, uh, so what is the pressure? So, pressure is nothing but force per unit area. So, the force will be the pressure into uh, unit area. So, it is nothing but uh, uh, the pressure in the x direction and area of the surface A O E C. So, this is the surface A O uh, E C. So, this is in the along the x side. Okay. So, area is basically 1 into delta y. So, it is basically 1 into delta y. So, the pressure, uh, the pr like force is basically the pressure into delta y, not delta x, delta y. This is our equation number 1. And in the similar manner, we will find the net force along. This is the force along the x-axis. Now, we will find the net force along this x-axis. So, we will find the net force. To find the net force along this, because of that, this inclined surface, we can take the component for this. So, what will be the component? If the it, like this is the angle theta, it means here is also the angle theta. So, this is basically the cos of theta will be the horizontal component is the Pn cos of theta and it is Pn sin of theta. Now, what is the value of cos theta and sin theta here? Cos theta is the, so basically cos theta will be del y by del s. I say this is del s. Okay, I say this, the length of this uh, inclined uh, is, is basically del s. So, it will be del y by del s because of that this is the right hand side triangle, this is the perpendicular, this is the base and this is the hypotenuse. Then base upon hypotenuse is cos theta and in the similar manner the sin theta will be del x by del s, the perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So now the net force will consider the net force along the x direction. So this will be basically F capital X. So the F small x minus Pn cos theta, which is the horizontal pressure, we'll find the real, like resultant or the pressure on the x-axis uh, on the surface uh, A O E C and the pressure on the uh, sorry force along the x-axis on the surface which is inclined surface. It is E C B D E C B D. So that is basically F capital X is F small x. F small x is nothing but small p x into del y, it is basically p n cos theta and the area. So, what is the area? Area is basically 1 into this side. What is this? It is del s. It is del s. So, it, uh, basically this will be the delta s. So, this will be 0. So, the net force will be 0. So, the p x delta y minus p n 
cos theta delta s will be 0. So now we can find in this case that fx or uh, we can find we can put the value of that uh, px delta y is equals to pn cos of theta into delta s. So px delta y pn what is the value of cos theta is basically del y by del s okay so it is delta y by delta s into delta s so it will get cancelled by this then px is equals to pn it means the pressure on along the x axis will equal to the pressure on the inclined surface now we'll compare it with the y direction so for that you will find the force will find the force along y direction on the surface so the bottom surface is basically aobd okay so this will be the aobd now aobd the area of aobd is 1 into delta x so it will be the force fy is basically 1 into or it on the aob D is basically Py into 1 into delta x is basically Py into delta x. But in this case, there will be uh, the component of the uh, like gravity weight in mg. So we can also add this weight. So in this y direction, there will be weight or yeah, we can uh, calculate it in a uh, net force. Okay. Okay, we can add this weight component with the net force, but in this case, we'll just write uh, in the same manner. Now, uh, for the surface, net surface, the net force along the y direction y. So, it will be F capital Y, then F small y of the A O B D minus the force along the y direction on the surface ECBD. So it will be ECBD. Now it will be capital FY is basically and yeah, we'll uh, also add in this case the weight. What is the weight? Weight is basically M into G. It is nothing but density into volume into gravitational force. So it, is, it will be the volume is basically 1 by 2 del x del y into 1 okay so 1 del x del y the volume of the triangle is basically this area into height height is basically 1 and it will be z so basically 1 by 2 rho delta x delta y into z be the gravitational force or the weight okay so w so this is basically p y into delta x minus this is basically p n sin theta into the area is basically del s into 1 plus or uh, this will be rho by 2 del x del y into g. Now this is the weight component ok. So the capital Fy is basically 0. So the Py delta x is equals to Pn sin theta into delta s plus or minus delta by uh, rho by 2 del x del y into g. This rho component is basically very small. It is very small. It is very small than rho by delta del x del y g tending to 0. So this term will be 0. So the p y delta x is equals to p n. It is basically the delta x upon delta s into delta s. This will get cancelled then p y is equals to p n the direction the pressure in the direction of y is equals to the pressure on the inclined surface. So this is by the Pascal's law it means the intensity of the pressure at point in a fluid at rest is same in all the direction this is the Pascal's law I hope you got this concept and thanks for watching my video keep watching MHMS please like the video share and thank you bye bye.